Hey, I'm Roxy Fab, and I know it's been a minute. Uh, it's been a minute. Life happens and things move and shake and you get sidetracked. But while I was out jogging this morning, something dropped across my spirit and I said, I've got to tell them what this is and, and get back on track with this communication too. So, you know how we have that outside voice. Oh yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to create this. I'm going to be this. I'm going to whatever, right? And then some of us, a lot of us, have that inner voice that's like, no, you ain't. You can't do that. I don't know who told you you could do that. You're too old. Or, you're too big. Or, you know, you, you're just not what it is. You're not qualified for that. You don't have this degree. You don't have that. And you fight with yourself back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And we all know that we can do anything we want to do. We all have the power inside of ourselves, within ourselves, to make whatever we want happen. Some people just take a little bit longer, and some people just never do it. They die without the world knowing what they had inside of them. So think of it like this, and this is how I wanted to break it down to you today. So, and this is going to be crazy, but this is the best way for me to break it down. So, you know, there's people who have had weight loss surgery. I have a lot of friends who have had gastric bypass and who have had the sleeve. You know, some for medical reasons, some because they wanted to lose weight faster. Um, and I don't have any problems with do you boo and boo boo, okay? Seriously, do what you need to do um, if you feel that that's the right way for you. You know, don't hesitate. You know, don't hesitate. If you feel that that's the right way for you to go, go. But still know that you have to work out and you still have to eat right, you know, and be prepared for the skin sagging, like my girlfriend Ty said, all right? But what made me think about certain things as far as weight loss and, and COVID and all these kind of things when I was jogging this morning and putting all this stuff together was like, well, until, you know, you go to the doctor and, you know, you're overweight, look, well, look, if, you, if you don't lose weight, you know, you're probably not gonna be able to have a baby. If you don't lose weight, uh, you know, it's putting too much pressure on your heart. You may not make it to 40, you know, uh, things like that. If you don't lose weight, you know, you're going to be diabetic. Yeah, it could be anything. And what happens? That person go, oh, no, I ain't trying to do that. I ain't trying to be a diabetic. I ain't, I ain't trying to not be able to have no kids. I ain't, and they get out and they lose weight which basically means you could have did it the whole time. But for some reason or another, for some reason or another, you had to like be told rock bottom type things to make you jump up and get that done. So in saying all that to say, you know, don't wait to hit rock bottom to get what you want. You know, don't wait to hit rock bottom to get what you want. A lot of people do that and it's only out of fear of succeeding it's the fear to succeed and while it seems like crazy to some people like what how, how wouldn't you want to succeed it is so scary to others you know there's there you, you don't want to leave your family behind or your friends behind or you it's a lot of reasons why people are scared they don't want to change they like the way they are and money and success changes everybody. I don't care who says it doesn't. It changes them, you know? And sometimes it changes them for the better, don't get me wrong, you know? But it changes them, it changes them, you know? But what those people aren't realizing is, and what you're not realizing by telling yourself that rather, is that once you succeed, you can go back and get those people, you know? But do what you have to do to be who you wanna be and be at the level that you deserve and then go back and get who you need and who deserves to be on that journey with you. Because everybody doesn't belong on that journey with you. You know, everybody doesn't belong.